Uh, bottom three at the moment, Southampton, Leeds and Leicester. First question to you, is that going to be the bottom three or is it still in three games to go? Is it still impossible to call? Still impossible to call. Southampton are down. I think they're gone. Yeah, I agree. Which is obviously, it's, it's, it's sad because I look at Southampton as a Premier League side. I've been for a long time, um, but simply haven't been good enough. Um, and yeah, I look at the, I still think Leicester and Leeds have got a chance. I really, I know Everton put in that, wow, what a performance that is, by the way. But I still think Leicester can get something from somewhere. Leeds as well, they've got that kind of rawness to them. They've got Big Sam. It's going to go down to the wire. I mean, what I will say is that this might be the only, the fourth time in this century that the three teams that came up, none of them go down. Only the fourth time this century. Wow, you've done well with your homework. Come on, Where were the other three? So you've got one in 2011-12. You've got your homework right in front of you. Good boy. One in 2017-18. Yeah. And one is 2001-2002. Only the fourth, fourth time, time this century. That's that's impressive. But you got you got to give credit to the, the likes of Marco Silva. What a job he's done at Fulham. Let, making let, sure they don't. They don't oh, go without out. a doubt. Okay, let me let me ask you this. We can quickly do this, right? We haven't done this before. Forest last three games at Chelsea, Arsenal, Palace. How many points will they get out of those three? One. I agree with you. So that will put Nottingham Forest on thirty-four, right? Mm -hmm. Everton have got Man City, Wolves, and, and Bournemouth. Three. Where have those three come from? Home to Bournemouth. Okay, so that will put Everton on 35. Uh, Leicester have got Liverpool, Newcastle and West Ham. L Liverpool, Newcastle and West Ham. <gasps> Four. Four? Yeah. Four? I think they're going to get a point against Liverpool. Four? A point against Liverpool and they'll beat West Ham last game of the season at home. You think Leicester? Four. Yeah. Okay. I mean, listen, points. if Newcastle keep the ball in play, then make the army <laughs> to give them a chance, won't it? It is a 45 minute game. Yeah. Uh, Leeds have got Newcastle, West Ham and Spurs. None. No, I don't think they'll get either. Other They're not going to get anything. Mm, no. Newcastle at home. After Newcastle just been... Do you know what? I'm going to say Leeds get three. Okay, that puts Leeds on 33. So you think uh, Leeds will be 33, Leicester 34 with Forest and Everton 35. So you think Everton stay up? Yeah. And on goal difference, Forest or Leicester go down and Leeds go down. That team yesterday that I watched against Brighton, I've never seen a team work so hard. I know Brighton gifted them a couple of goals, but yeah. Dwight McNeil, it will be. The difference Cavett-Lewin has when he's up there, big, strong, physical presence... They look fat. Oh, on the break, they looked incredible. Where's that been? With David Calvert Lewin, I, I, what did I say to you a couple weeks ago? Yeah. When we were talking about Everton, I said if I was Sean Dyche, I'd go to Calvert Lewin and say, "Listen, even if you're at seventy percent, just give me sixty minutes. Get, that's, that's, that's all, just give me sixty yeah. minutes because he he's not scoring, but he, he holds the ball up. He's strong. He's winning his headers. He just he just creates chaos because mm. he's such a big physical presence. That early goal for Everton as well. How important is it? I'm sure you've been in that situation where you're you're fighting for your lives or you know a game is massive you and you out. get an early goal. For for a striker and for the team, what does that do with regards to settling the nerves? Is it instant? Oh, massive confidence, yeah. Because everyone goes, it gives you something to hold on to then. But the fact they got two so quickly, yeah. Decore, they probably couldn't believe their luck. But then you, you're almost encouraging them, Brighton, who did in the second half, Come on to you, come on to you. And it's just about can you be patient, defend properly, because you know you're going to get more opportunities because they're going to commit more and more men mm. forward. But what a result that was, by the way. It was fantastic. Some nuts results yesterday. Nuts. Wasn't there? Absolutely bonkers weekend of football. Uh, listen, that's how we're going to start today's show with the bottom of the Premier League. So Bentley thinks Leeds, Leicester, sorry, Leeds and either Leicester or Forest will go down. Mm. Along with Southampton. So yeah, it's tough, isn't it? I can't, see, I can't see Leeds getting out of it. I really can't. Newcastle, West Ham and Spurs. Newcastle at home is interesting because I, I, you'd expect Newcastle to win that but Ellen Road the crowd hostile mm. and then the it, fair Geordies will bring all their, their army wouldn't they yeah it, I think a lot depends I'd have to look at the date when, when they play West Ham with regards to their semi-final if you're sitting around it I expect West Ham to rest because they're safe now I think they're safe West Ham aren't they yeah West Ham are fine yeah yeah. 37 points yeah, I'll yeah I agree so. Ryan the Leicester fan is fine hello Ryan good afternoon hello how are you I'm very well, thank you. You? I'm good, thank you for asking. You staying up? No chance. No chance. <laughs> no, no, no. I'd, I'd like to. Um, well, I, I admire Darren Bent's uh, optimism, but I, I'd, I'd love to know where he thinks these four points are coming from because I, I, I cannot see how we we keep Liverpool at bay. I, I just can't. No. You know, I, shambolic. I, it's uh, uh, Ryan. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Yeah, and I don't see that in in a lot of the players we've got. Um, Forrest and Everton both showed so much fight at the weekend in comparison to us. I, I think we're down. I think I think we're done. And I think there's a lot of players there that don't seem to be too bothered about it either. They're quite happy to move on to bigger clubs. Ryan, is, is Ryan, is, is that going to be the worry then? Is that if you guys do go down, is that your squad will probably uh, get picked I mean, apart? 
I, well, I think I think we're going to get picked apart regardless. I think you put a players like Madison are going to go irrespective. I think he's, I think he's on his way to Newcastle. Tillemans um, will go. Till it, yeah, Tillemans will go. I mean, it, it, that that's the worry that we've had this situation now where we've got a lot of players who come to the end of the. Oh, oh has he gone? Um, oh. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can, Ryan. Sorry, go on yeah, off you go. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, so yeah, we've got a lot of players who've been allowed to run contracts down. It's. Uh, it's very, it's very concerning. I, 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 if we go down, which I think we will, I, I, I don't see us pushing to come back up anytime soon, and that, that's the concern. We worked so hard mm. for for ten years to get back in the Premier League. Obviously, we've we've had some fantastic times over the last five years, and you know, a lot of clubs have purple patches, and and we'll never get anywhere near what we did. But I just, I just think all that hard work is going to go to waste. It, thanks for your call, Ryan. It's an ama- if they do go down, it's an incredible fall from grace, isn't it? For mm. a side that won the Premier League not too long ago, won the FA Cup not too long ago. Yeah, two fifth place finishes, was in Europe. And now go down. It happens, but if you don't reinvest in the squad or your recruitment's wrong, because I think some of the signings over the years haven't been great, haven't worked out well uh, for Leicester, whereas at one stage, yeah, we're getting it absolutely bang on. The likes mm. of Mares and Canty, Vardy, these, these type of bargains. But unfortunately... Um, they haven't invested in the squad as much as they should. They've lost key players, they've replaced them with players that aren't of the same level. And I think that's the real concern. If they do go down, they're going to lose the likes of Madison, Tillemans, Barnes. What happens to Vardy? Barnes. What does he do? I think he'll stay. Yeah. I think he's he's, he's incredibly loyal to that football club. So yeah. I think he will stay. Um, do you think he'll have any regrets of not leaving no, them going to not Arsenal? One. Not he was one. so close, wasn't he, to that? Yeah, but no, not one. I think he, he's, there's an argument that he's their greatest player ever. Leicester fans will say he's the greatest player ever. Yeah. And he's, he's, what, because of longevity, because they've had better players. Yeah, Kante be yeah, one of them. Yeah, Mares, right? but he's obviously scored a lot of goals consistently. Yeah, I agree. He's, he's done a lot of things. Won the league, won the FA Cup, broke Van Nistelrooy's record, won golden boots at Leicester. He's been, he's been phenomenal. FA Cup, no yeah. one could have, have ever said he could have done any more. No, I agree with that. Uh, Jamie's a Forest fan. Hi, Jamie. Hi, how are you? I'm great. I'm very well. How are you today? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Yourself? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Off you go. What do you want to say? Good. Uh, no, I was basically just going to say exactly what the uh, the last caller just said. I, I just can't see how you can say that Leicester are going to get four points and we're going to get one. I think our, our fixtures are probably the the best fixtures. I think um, obviously we've got Arsenal at home, but we've, we've, we've well, I think it's like two games we've lost at home since August. I know obviously they're a very good side, but obviously Man City came as well. We managed to nick a point off them. Chelsea aren't very good at the minute. I think we can nick some, maybe nick something there. Um, Palace last game of the season. Hopefully they've got nothing. Well, they've got nothing to play for. I think we might be able to nick a point. But I, I think we only need one more point because I just can't see Leeds or Leicester getting. I can see them getting maximum three points. Let me ask you: irrelevant of what happens to Forest this season, um, if they stab or go down, do you stay with Stevie Cooper for next year? Uh. It's a hard one because obviously he did a very good job for us last year. I think the big thing with Cooper, um, I think he would have been sacked mid-season. But I think the big thing with him is like it's not just that he's a he's a good manager. I, I think his in-game in-game management's not great, um, but it's the fact that he's sort of like a really good fit for the club. Like the the fans and the the team have never been as. Um, connected as they have since he's come in it's just one of them things where it's just a right a right fit right place right man um, but yeah I think uh, personally I'd, I'd stick with him um, and if it goes sort of sour start of next season it's not going quite right then I think you'd have to sort of get rid of him but... okay. Jamie listen thank you for your call let's quickly go to another Forest fan Gary joins us hi Gary hi Andy hi Darren how are you you're right yeah, all good, thank you. I spoke to you early in the season, hoping for a top ten finish. How how wrong was I? Hey ho. <laughs> well, I, I mean, you, listen, you were hoping for it. Doesn't mean you you were going to get it. But <laughs> I'm guessing you obviously take staying up now relevant to where you finish, right? Yeah. On goal looking difference. At the running, though, um, when you look at current current league form, and I've been looking at this, um, Everton have actually got the worst running. They've got Man City first at the moment in their current league form. They've got to go away to Wolves, then they're fifth. Bournemouth to fourth in the current league form. Everton is still precariously there in my eyes. I think Leicester. I think it's between Leicester and Everton going down. Do you know what, Gary? I th- do you know what, Gary? I would have agreed with you, and I, I do with when it comes to Everton. But I would have said that before the, the Brighton away because I would have said they've got mm, no chance of winning that game. Point. But the fact they've gone and slapped them five, 
I think, oh, all of a sudden I'm looking at, they won't beat City, that's for a fact. But I'm looking at Wolves and Bournemouth and all of a sudden you're thinking, oh, they might get something from this game. I just, I don't know who's got the toughest running. Forrest have got Chelsea, Arsenal, horrible games, Palace. Oh, three horrible. Up until recently, Pal- I mean, Palace were dog at the weekend against Spurs. I didn't yeah. see it, but pals of mine went there. Everton have got City, Wolves, Bournemouth, as you just alluded to, horrible. Leicester's are bad, you know. L- Newcastle away and West Ham at home. And Liverpool at home. Mm. And then Leeds have got Newcastle, West Ham and Spurs. I think it's impossible to call. No. It's impossible to call. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.